So we all have life energy, or as they call it, chi, flowing throughout our body. In this video, I'm gonna give you an introduction into the 12 main organ systems or meridian systems of the body. Sit tight. Welcome back to another video. My name is Jen Palco. Today we're gonna get into the organ systems or meridian pathways of the body. There are 12 main ones in Chinese medicine. Uh, if you're not familiar at all with the meridian systems, then I'm gonna give you a nice overview so you can see how they all work together. So uh, the meridian system is from you know, ancient Chinese medicine, traditional Chinese medicine. And it is, um, you know, if you've had acupuncture, have heard of acupuncture before, the way that acupuncture works is basically by putting needles in certain areas of the body on certain meridian pathways of the body, it is kind of like opening the gateway into those highways, I guess you could say. So we all have energy running through us. In Chinese medicine, we call this qi flowing throughout us. And our body works like a circuit. That's what I always tell people. Everything is interconnected. So we have these 12 main pathways where the chi runs through, essentially. So when you have manifestation of physical symptoms or emotional systems, um, emotional stuff, when something is off with the body, I like to say it's almost like there's a traffic jam somewhere with that chi. Okay, the energy, the chi is not flowing smoothly. So by stimulating certain acupuncture points on certain areas of the body, it's kind of breaking that up. It's, it's you know, getting the smooth flow of chi back into the body, have everything flowing again, um, having the traffic moving. So I'm gonna give you a nice overview of how the organ meridian systems work in the body. Now, like I said, there's 12, and they each correspond to different organs. So, so this is different in, in the aspect of Western medicine. Okay, an organ has a physiological function in the body, right? Say the heart, the heart pumps blood. Okay, but the interesting part about Eastern medicine, Chinese medicine, is that there is much more to the heart than just pumping blood. Uh, I'll give you an example. There's also um, a more symbolic nature to it. It has a lot more of just the physiological function. Yes, we still have the function of the heart pumping blood and helping circulation throughout the body, but we also have a connection where the heart is very connected to the mind um, because blood is supplying the brain, all kinds of things. Uh, you know, so I'm gonna get into that, but what I wanna do is talk about, I'm gonna relate each of the organ systems to kind of like think of an army. And I'm gonna give you a nice analogy here so you can see how it all works together and then how you can relate this to your own body. So each of the organs, the organ systems in Chinese medicine fall under one of the five elements. Now I've done a ton of other videos on the five elements, Chinese five elements, fire, earth, metal, water, wood. If you wanna check out some of those videos, I'll put all the links below for you so you can you know, learn about them more. Um, so we're gonna start with, I'm gonna start with wood. Okay, the wood element. And the organ systems for the wood element are the liver and the gallbladder meridians in the body. And, um, you know, if we're thinking of like an army, I'm gonna say that the liver is like the general or the commander. The liver is the one who thinks up the tactics and the strategy and, and is this kind of leadership position. If you know some of my other uh, five element videos when I talk about a wood element personality, they have a lot of leadership and um, you know, they're very direct and, and almost like a general or commander of, of an army. So that's what we're talking about here. So basically what the liver does, it commands the chi in the body, a smooth flow of chi when in balance. When out of balance, if you think about if a general or a commander if the liver is in excess, uh, if they're too much of a dictator and they're, they're too hard on their soldiers, then the soldiers, uh, the whole unit is going to suffer in the aspect that it's gonna be fatigued, it's gonna be malnourished, it's not getting enough rest. It becomes chaotic where it's no longer this, this functioning unit. Um, 
And if it's deficient, deficient liver, then you could say that, you know, the, the commander is not commanding, is not leading soldiers. Um, and, and that, in that aspect, you know, it's not commanding the chi in the body. So the chi, it gets a little, it gets stagnant or it gets, sta you know, scattered or it gets deficient in some way. It doesn't, it doesn't have that leadership ability that holds it um, together essentially okay so that that's kind of the the nature of the the liver meridian system in the body gallbladder okay so each of the systems have a yin yang pair so liver is yin gallbladder is a uh, yang organ doesn't really i'm not going to get too far into that not to confuse you but gallbladder so if you think of okay you have the leader the general in the army but you also need somebody who makes important decisions and you could consider the gallbladder the decision maker so um if there is a deficiency in the wood element or even the liver or gallbladder then um you know this position is going to have trouble with judgment, with um, making important decisions in life. If, if it's out of balance, and you can relate this to your own body, if something is, is off with one of these guys, especially the gallbladder meridian in your body, if there's a blockage there, um, it's not getting chi to, to that area, then um, you may be indecisive. You may have trouble, like I said, with, with judgment in your life, that kind of stuff. All right. And, you know, we all know the physiological function. It, it um, excretes bile on the body and helps filter stuff out. So, uh, you know, liver, gallbladder. Let's move on to fire. So fire, we have actually two sets. All right. We have the heart, small intestine and pericardium triple warmer, which you probably have no idea what that is because it's not actually an organ. It's related to upper, upper, middle, lower burner in Chinese medicine. I'll get to that. So we'll start with heart and small intestine. Heart is yin, small intestine is yang. So the heart in Chinese medicine, what we all know in Western medicine helps pump the blood. Okay. We all know this. Um, in Chinese medicine, it's known as the emperor. If you think of it as the ruler of the land. So you have a general who commands their each unit of soldiers, but you have someone who is like totally in charge of the whole land. And that is the heart. Okay. And it does help with circulation and, you know, making sure things is everybody is happy, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's the overarching, I guess, uh, ruler. Um, small intestine helps the heart and the small intestine helps the heart in um, separating the pure from the turbid. Okay. The pure from the turbid. So it's in a way protecting the heart. Okay. Pericardium is the heart protector. So it's almost like the security or bodyguard for the heart. Um, but small intestine too is helping filter things out for the blood okay for for circulation so if something is off or you have a blockage somewhere in the fire element um, you may see circulation issues right the blood is not getting to certain areas of the body where it needs to be um, and like i mentioned the the heart the fire element is very connected to the mind because blood is supplying the brain the mind, um, if you want to go one step further in Chinese medicine, it's like a more spiritual connection um, to the cosmic, cosmos, things like that. Uh, it is the most yang. But it's going to affect the mind if we're deficient in, in blood in, in some sort of capacity or things, the, the chi becomes scattered um, where you have mental illness in a sort of way, anxiety, you have mania, um, insomnia, trouble sleeping, circulation issues, like I said, can show up. Okay. Um, and pericardium, like I said, is the heart protector. It's the covering for the heart. Okay. In, um, in Western medicine, but also Chinese medicine, but it's like the security guard. It's protecting the emperor from, you know, things, coming in from, from just like direct contact. And then the triple warmer, like I mentioned, is not an actual organ, but it is like the irrigation system where it controls the water passages in the body. So, um, like I said, triple warmer, the upper, um, the upper warmer is referring to, you know, we, we, 
control the water passage through sweat, okay? So upper burner, middle burner is, burner is through stomach fluids, and the lower burner is gonna be through urine, okay? Releasing water, like temperature control in the body. You don't want the body to be too hot, too cold. You wanna balance the fluid in the body, make sure it's not too much or too little, okay? So if you're looking at a, not necessarily an army, but like a society or something, we always need some sort of temperature regulation right there, okay? So that's fire, essentially. Earth, earth is like, um, so the spleen, yin, stomach, yang. So spleen and stomach, it's almost like, uh, if you're thinking of an army, it's like the one who supplies the food and nutrients to all the soldiers, all right? It's, uh, I don't know, the, somebody who works in the mess hall or somebody, a supplier who is making sure that the soldiers are being nourished properly so that they can fulfill their duties, so they can take action, which is uh, one thing I, I wanted to mention with liver is all about action oriented, okay? It wants to move, the chi wants to move. So if the soldiers aren't fed properly, um, you know, that's what the spleen is, is in Chinese medicine. It, it helps um, bring the nutrients transporting to the different areas of the body, the limbs, so, you know, the limbs can move and making sure everything is intact. And then the stomach helps absorb everything in. Um, and obviously, like I said, if there's something off, you have a blockage somewhere, like liver chi stagnation or something in the body, it can affect, um, you know, or, or if liver is overpowering earth, you know, the soldiers can become malnourished. So you can become either, um, you know, overeating, undereating, like overeating the wrong types of food, which is going to lead to a lot of dampness in the body or fatigue and, uh, you know, tired soldiers who can't perform their duties. They don't have enough energy to do it and they're feeling sluggish. The clarity of, of thinking, foggy thinking, that kind of thing, or undernourished, like not eating enough, not getting the nutrients to certain areas of the body, not absorbing correctly. Um, that's going to affect the whole unit. It's going to affect each individual soldier, right? In, in being able to perform and having the energy and sustenance in life. So that's kind of the, um, the thing behind earth, right? Is, is all about providing the nutrients in the body, but also a lot to do with blood as well. Um, you know, and making sure, you know, the soldiers aren't anemic or, um, which, you know, if, if the chi is stagnant in the body, it can lead to, you know, the blood being stagnant, all kinds of things. So you want to keep everything moving smoothly and you want to keep everybody fed and happy and absorbing, you know, the correct nutrients in the body, stuff like that. Um, metal. Okay. Metal is going to be lungs and large intestine. Lungs is yin, large intestine is yang. So I would think of the lungs as kind of like border patrol. So basically the lungs are the protective barrier between the outside and the inside. So if you think of um, the outside and the inside of the body as well, so skin, okay, has a lot to do with, with the lungs, um, you know, in Chinese medicine where it's a protective layer, it's protecting us from the outside. So what happens if there's no border patrol, right? If there's no outer, that first line of defense, then um, the army and the soldiers are vulnerable to direct attack, okay? So you have to have that outer defense first as an extra layer, extra barrier. This has a lot to do with our immune systems in that, you know, not only the skin, but the, the um, essence of the metal element and the lungs especially is having that protective, they call it Wei Qi, which is our defensive Qi, that outer layer, the first one from environmental factors, like extreme temperatures or, um, you know, diseases and pathogens and, and all kinds of things, but also on a more, um, you know, mental, emotional level, also the capacity to have protection against psychic attack or other people, toxic uh, people coming at you, right? Criticism, stuff like that. If we are deficient, in our metal element or in our lungs in some way, then we're not only deficient, like our immune systems can't keep up and protect ourselves and we get sick and we get respiratory issues, um, but also on a personal level, 
just were not able to defend against other people's words and attacks and criticisms and we break down and it, it affects our energy and it does eventually affect us physically just the emotional stuff right if somebody's uh, handing at us and then large intestine which is uh, the pear organ with the lung meridian, um, I would call it the access, excess baggage or eliminator. So the large intestine is all about letting go in the body. We know from a physiological uh, standpoint, we're letting go of toxins in the body, right? We, we poop out the toxins, what no longer serves us. So from the more, you know, symbolic nature or using an analogy, it's almost like the large intestine is really helping, um, you know, filter out those things or eliminate those things that, that are no longer serving us. Okay. Eliminating the excess baggage or like, like the, if you have a unit of soldiers and there's like two or three bad apples or bad eggs that can poison the whole unit, right? You have people who are not in the right frame of mind and they're negative and they're affecting everybody else. It can affect everything. When the body's connected, it can affect everything. If you have too much toxins in your body, right? It's going to affect everything. If it's not functioning properly, you have a blockage there, um, right? So large intestine meridian is helping, you know, release that kind of stuff uh, that's no longer serving you and not cluttering because if you have too much clutter of, of things that you're holding on to and toxic stuff, then the long, there's no room to take in the new, right? You're holding on to the old, holding on to the old. Um, it's kind of the, the emotion of metal is grief. So a lot of people hold on to grief, hold on to grief, right? They can't let it go. And this can affect the metal element in the body. Okay. On those particular meridians. Um, so that's that water, 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 water. So you think of water element. We have the yin organ is, are the kidneys and the yang organ pair is the urinary bladder. So the kidneys is kind of like uh, the natural reserves of the land. Okay. In, in your related to your body, it's like your backup battery, like your foundation, your essence. This is the thing that gets tapped when all the other stuff runs out like your backup source. And if you don't have a backup source or a backup battery, what happens? Uh, not so good, right? So this is like the natural resources in all the land and the army uses, right? And um, you need it. You need resources. You need backup supplies. You need fresh water and, and all kinds of stuff, okay? Backup food in the event that you know, something happens and we run out of food. Um, and then the urinary bladder is like kind of like a reservoir. It's holding water, but we have to, once it fills up, you have to release some of the water out, right? Little by little. So, um, but it's also filtering out toxins too. So a lot of the young organ pairs help with, um, like just releasing stuff, emptying stuff filtering stuff out that no longer good for us. That's no longer good for them. It's kind of like uh, polluted water. Like you could see it as, you know, uh, water testing control. I don't know. I just made that up, but like you, you, the soldiers can't drink polluted water, right? So this help releasing and, and getting rid of, um, that kind of stuff. And it's the same with our bodies. We, we release urine, right? We don't want to hold too much in because if there's, um, out of balance here, the water element, kidneys, bladder, um, can hold on to too much water, which you can have things like edema in the body or too little. And the land gets very dry, dried up resources. There's no more resources, no more water in the body. Um, so you see things like dryness symptoms in the body or, um, even heat symptoms, but they're, they're not real heat since kind of like a false heat because the body doesn't have the natural resources, doesn't have the water, the fluids, um, and it's going to affect things. So most specifically, 
Um, things like the hair, you could have dried thinning hair, okay? Uh, has a lot to do with the bones in the body. Um, all kinds of stuff, okay? Kidneys, obviously. So this is just an overview of how everything is working together. And, you know, if you're thinking like an army and the land and the rulers and how everything relies on everything else to function, right? Like you need food, you need clean water, you need a clarity, clear mindset, you know, in, in the body. And it's, it's interesting, you know, Chinese medicine works in this way because just because you have an imbalance or blockage on one meridian, it can affect other meridians eventually and other organ systems because we all they all rely on each other just like all the elements rely on one another nourish one another um, so you can see how how this works so basically you know when you're going for an acupuncture appointment they are you know opening those gateways and trying to regulate this flow of this flow of energy right regulate and, and get the circulation back to certain areas of the body and where it might be deficient or in excess and um, so that's where it's it's really helpful and where a lot of people can you know have pain in an area but then they once they get all this kind of evened out or a little better where, you know, they're super deficient in one area. Try to, you know, regulate it a little bit. They'll find improvements in other things. Oh, digestion's better, energy's better, all, all kinds of stuff, right? So more clarity of thinking. So um, I'm sure I'm missing a lot of things because there's so much to this and so many correspondences as far as even like, you know, getting into the emotions and flavors and, and tastes and smells. And, you know, I've talked a lot about personality type stuff, but the ability to, to handle stress. And, um, but I just want to give you an, an overview today of how everything works together in the body, how the mind and the, the physical, you know, physical, emotional is so connected and, and all kinds of good stuff. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Check out some of my other videos on the five elements. I've done a lot. And uh, hit that subscribe button and I will see you on the next video. Peace.